Oh wait, something's here. Oh, fucking obviously. Yeah, totally. This is why I couldn't go fucking do anything, because I didn't pick up this button out of Bob's office, obviously. It's not even fucking exciting, Bob fucking button. Look at it. My god, can I actually go and be productive now? Is that allowed? Maybe go see that therapist that apparently doesn't do any work. Oh, what a time to be alive. That's the loudest writing Chris. I've ever heard. Hello. I'm Dr. Harburn. Nice to meet you, Doctor. Nice to meet you. Go ahead and have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. So, what brings you here today? Well, I, um... I've been having some trouble dealing with things lately. I... I keep getting freaked out by, um... Ghosts and such. Ah, oh, nothing. I, God. I don't know where to start. That's okay. Take your time. Uh, talk about anything. Anything that comes into your mind. Can we, like, close the blinds? There's some wicked glare in these scenes. Can I take your snow globe, if at all possible? My mother used to have a snowstorm like this. I used to think that must be what her mind looks like. All broken up. All those tiny pieces swirling around inside. She started hating me when I was about six. Get out of my sight! Oh, Curtis, that was her problem. Not yours. Oh, you thanks, just Doc. A boy. Thanks, Doc. That's some A plus counseling right there. Oh, don't worry, you know that abuse thing? Don't worry about it. Wasn't your fault. Oh, well, thank you. I'm so comforted. Look, no offense, but I am not very comfortable with this. Being here makes me feel like some kind of a wacko or something. Well, You're you not are. A wacko, Curtis. There's no stigma attached to analysis anymore. There is. Your brain is just like any other part of your body, and when it isn't feeling well, not only is it okay to get help, but it's smart. I mean, first off, way to sound like backhandedly insulting. Second off, there's definitely still a stigma. This guy I work with, Bob, was murdered today. I don't mean just shot in the head either. He was, he was spread all over my cubicle. Oh my God, Curtis, how are you feeling about this? Meh. That's the thing, Doctor. I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything at all. She's like, ah, the murderer. I see. All right. Want this toolbox? Want this dress? Oh, why don't you slip into something more comfortable, Doc? Okay. Oh, damn, this is hard. Long before my mother killed herself, she, um, she started dressing me up as a little girl. Pretty dress, pretty dress. It just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how I dress, you can still be a monster. Pretty little monster girl. Yeah, that's fucked. Oh, Curtis. You have to understand that the problem was entirely hers. You were an innocent child. You are like the least helpful counselor I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh yeah, so about that, like, uh, all that, like, abuse stuff right there, the dressing up? Yeah, you know, don't, don't worry about it. You got a penis, so you're fine. Dr. Harburg, I think that the uh, company that I work for is... Don't tell her this. It's conducting some sort of terrible, illegal experiment. Do not tell her this. Take a look at this. 
Where was he even keeping it, actually? My father was like deeply involved. I don't, I, also. I have to find out what the, the Threshold Project is about. Her face. Well, it's not impossible, Curtis. There have been huge corporate cover-ups over the years. Yo, she had such a look of... Ah, another fucking wacko. Want this key? Want this post-it? Want this photo? It's kind of embarrassing, but, uh... That kind of imagery has always fascinated me. It's nothing to be ashamed of, Curtis. Have you ever thought about why you like images of bondage? Oh, is that what's yeah. on that? It's even weirder, I... I feel like the, uh, the person in the picture is... Somehow being held together. Like, um, they can't come apart with all that stuff holding them in. Hmm. Fascinating. She's not listening at all. Okay. I mean, I guess that would be why some people are into it. Never really thought about it. I almost didn't call you. Because Dr. Merrick referred me to you. He was my doctor at the hospital. Yes, I know, Curtis. Would you like to talk about your hospitalization, about Dr. Merrick? I'm not going to ask you anything specific about your hospitalization, but could you tell me if perhaps there was one single inciting incident that, that led up to it? See, that's the thing, Doctor. I, I don't... I don't know what happened. It, it, I just... One minute, I knew who I was, and then the next minute, I had no idea. It's hard to explain, but my identity just... came apart, like... like old rotten lace. I can think of a couple reasons you might feel that way. Um, want my ID? Want this photo? I, um... I have a uh, date with this girl from my work tonight. Her name's Therese. <sighs> she is very sexy, and, uh... I don't know, though, but I'm feeling... feeling guilty because of my girlfriend, Jocelyn. You should. You should you feel, feel guilty. Like you're betraying Jocelyn? Yeah. Well, I mean, no, I mean... <laughs> Okay, we, we agreed from the beginning that it wasn't exclusive, right? So, I don't have any reason to be guilty at all, do I? Well, I think that's for you to decide in your own mind and in your own heart. But let me point out, however, Curtis, that, that guilt is a very, very destructive emotion. Yo, dog, if you gotta be like... If someone asks you if you're feeling guilty and then you go, Yeah... Wait, no, 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 no. Something is giving away the fact that you probably do feel guilty. And you're just trying to push it out, you know, don't want don't wanna think about that, don't wanna believe you're wrong, you know? Hmm? Hmm? Maybe. Alright. Uh want my wallet? This photo? This was taken at our company Christmas party. Why is he walking around with these things? I had a lot of fun that night, I guess. <laughs> Looks like you were having fun. <laughs> Who are those people with you? Uh, that's, um, that's Trevor. He's my best friend. And that's Jocelyn. She's my, um... She's my lover. Yeah, it's funny. I, I've i been keeping our work, at, our relationship at work a secret. Are you in love with Jocelyn? Yeah, I think so. But... I'm... Uh, I'm kind of, uh, attracted to Trevor. Really? And that worries me because I've never... I mean, I don't want to... I don't know if I should be with Jocelyn. I, I don't want to hurt her, you know? Have you spoken to Jocelyn about this? <sighs> God, no. I have enough trouble opening up to her. You know, it's funny, even when we're making love, I don't feel totally close to her. 
I don't think I felt totally close to anyone. Interesting. Actually learned something there. Curtis is apparently bisexual. Or perhaps he just likes Trevor. I mean, Trevor is incredibly handsome, after all. Uh, got another photo over here for you, Doc. These are my parents. Don't they look happy? I think they were happy then, but... I don't remember. It's not fair, you know? I, I don't remember any of the good stuff. I don't remember my mother ever hugging me or kissing me or just hitting me. I remember when she killed herself. A couple years later, my, my father was run down by a drunk in an old Plymouth. Oh my God, Curtis. That's a lot for anybody to deal with. You're so fucking unhelpful. It's absolutely unbelievable. You do no actual, like, work or listening or anything for that matter. Okay, guys, I've run out of inventory. Is there anything in the room? Wow, Curtis is, like, not sitting on that chair at all, is he, actually? Neither is she, for that matter. Well, alright, looks like we're done here, because there doesn't seem to be anything else in the room. Well, Curtis, our session's up, but I think we have a lot of work to do. How do you feel about coming back tomorrow? Well, okay, I guess. Wonderful. I'll see you then. All right. Thank you, Dr. Harper. You're very welcome. Have a good do you have? You do you have so few clients that you can just be like, oh, yeah, come in whenever? You know, it's no big deal. Can I finally go to the borderline? Is that allowed? Oh, my goodness. It's like Christmas Day. What the Hold fuck it. just this went by? You have to know someone to get in. West Side Story is filmed in this area. Uh, so I got this postcard with bondage. Yeah, okay. Come on in. Don't get wow, you're easily person. convinced. <laughs> hmm, how ominous. What an easily convinced man. I expected to have to work him over a little bit more. Yo, okay, also, right? Curtis, fucking amazing guy that he is wearing his t-shirt tucked into his pants, decides to go to a bondage club wearing a denim jacket as well. Absolutely incredible. He doesn't stand out at all, no sir. Blends right in. God, no one has ever looked more out of place than Curtis right now. Incredible. Absolutely incredible.